Hello YouTube today at, uh, at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got a Gigabyte Aorus 15 RX 5P and this seems to be one of the models that we're gonna see here often because this is number three I think model like that that I've been fixing in the last month prior to that uh, the problem was that the connectors like the one this one uses this is the new connector. Uh, that connector made specifically for this particular laptop. No other laptop uses this connector and it's it was impossible to find back in the days, but now it's for sale. So if you end up sending us one of those uh, laptops, this particular model, but email, uh, because I need to order each one of those is ridiculously expensive connectors. Uh, so I have to order it for each laptop that I get here. Uh, otherwise, I'm not gonna order a thousand of those because it's only made for this specific model and I don't need a thousand of those sitting around here because out of a thousand, I'm gonna probably use maybe 20 or 30. So if you end up sending something like that to us, let me know in the email uh, before you're gonna ship it, all right? Or when you're gonna ship it because it's gonna take some time for me to receive the part, all right? I have a video of something like that, I was 15, 16 or 17, you know, from like two, three months ago, uh, where I had to install a slightly different connector in. And I was showing that since there is no connector available, that's what I have to do. But now I don't have to deal with that. I have a connector that's an exact replacement. So I figured I will redo the video and uh, show you how to do everything again. Uh, with, if you have the right connector uh, in stock. And I'm sure I'm going to be able to resell those connectors eventually, but right now I have no source for them and I don't want to order a thousand of those. Usually I order a thousand connectors and uh, they get used up over years. Uh, again, uh, this business has been around for 20 plus years. I got connectors for every single laptop. Make and model. Oh. All right, so let's see. We got Torx screws in here. Not every single Torx screwdriver is gonna fit in here. So we're just gonna remove every single screw. All right, so the goal is to take the whole thing apart. And it seems to me I'm gonna get a lot of those um, pretty soon, but not a thousand, because again, the model is really not exactly popular and it doesn't sell that well. So I figured, figured it's uh, there is no point ordering a thousand of those. But I'm sure some of those are gonna get here twice. Uh, back in the days, I used to offer lifetime warranty, but uh, after some clients started to send me laptops like three, four, five years after the repair, I was like, eh. 30 days warranty and that's it, you know, I don't want to fix something five years after the repair. And the problem is uh, not so much that I did a bad job, it's just this particular connector, the one that's installed inside, it's only supposed to handle about uh, three amps. And if you look at the adapter itself, which I got some here, this adapter outputs 12 amps. So that thing can only hold, uh, handle three amps. We get 12 amps through it, and that's the reason why it breaks. So it's a, it's a design issue. It's not how you, it's not the manufacturing issue. It's the design itself that's bad. I wonder why this tall screw is, is screwed here in the front. French. Well, maybe it's supposed to be like that. All right. So two long screws here. Oh yeah, they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. They're all the same. All right, let's see.
No, not all the same. All right, so those are the longer screws here. This is a shorter screw. And that is a short, 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 long. This is too long too, so long, long. And short, and short. Make sure you're gonna put them back together in the proper manner. Because if you're gonna try to put the screws in the wrong way, oh, the payment is here. Too. Okay, I don't want any marks to be left. All right, so let's see if you can open this guy up. Hmm. All right, that's the connector right there. And I can see where the problem is that I could see it right away. Yeah. All right. So let's disconnect the battery first and we can't really disconnect it well because, because the battery itself is prohibiting the disconnection. That's the battery, probably another screw right there. All right. Hopefully that's gonna be let's see. The battery is in good condition, it's not fluffy or anything, so it should be alright. Yeah, okay. Now that disconnected, I can deal with the solid state drive. All right, let's this guy up like that. Put that aside here. Get the battery here. All right, battery can be removed. Here, what you want to do is we need to find two. All right, like that. Like that. Beautiful. Let's see if there is a screw under this guy. Yeah, there is a screw there. Beautiful.
there is a tiny little bracket there which you want to swing out but you don't want to break the uh, Mm -hmm. There is no real way to to grab onto it. Let's see. Let's try. Flathead screwdriver. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Good job. Good job. Yeah, excellent. All right, so this looks good. <laughs> Now let me show you a secret. I think this is one of the systems that will have a problem in the future if it's not connected connected to the jack. Just give me one second. Let me show you what how else we can design a laptop so it would break within a certain amount of time. So just one second. Let me show you. No, that's not it. No, this one is designed properly. All right, never mind. This one is fine. Uh, this one is totally fine. All right, so we got here two screws here. One and two. All right. All right, where is the keyboard uh, connection? Is that the keyboard connection here on the other side? Or it's not? All right, so when I remove it, I have to flip it this way. We got another small cable here. Don't rip it off. Uh, go, go try and disconnect it now. Good luck. All right, so here. That's disconnected. Don't pull on the motherboard yet because you probably have a probably have no you don't okay that's all there is that's all there is this is a power button connector there so when you assemble it and it doesn't power up you probably didn't connect this uh, power supply all right let's clean up the uh, the thermal paste here all right good job Excellent. All right. Let's take a look. Let's inspect it. Hmm. Now the connection is the connection is solid. Usually the connection itself isn't solid. Oh, strange. Let me wanna you know what I wanna 
And let me put it out. See what's the problem here. Ready. Let's try. Let's try those guys. Oh, right there, you see. You see this ring right here? That's uh, That pretty much means that there was a spark happening when... Oh, look, the inside seems to be kind of yellowish too. Let's see. Yeah, we got 20 volts here. Let's see. Oh, there is no... There is no friction whatsoever between the connector and the... And nothing. We get nothing. No, we get nothing. Uh, no. Okay, so we get 20 volt on the leg, but we get nothing on the motherboard. Shoot. Crap. All right, let's try one more time. 20 volt. All right, so my understanding the soldering connection on the top side of the motherboard isn't the best. Let me let me see on the microscope what's going on because um, um, the, the, the thing is here, I plug it in, it's it's like plug in, plug out, like really easy. It's it's not even, uh, it's there is like no, nothing, like nothing. It's it, that, that just doesn't even hold it there. Here, let's see. Oh, this one is nice and tight. Okay. That's the way I like it, nice and tight right there. All right. So, let's see on the microscope what we what we can see with the human eye. All right. So, let's take a look on the microscope. Ah, oh, right there, you see? You see already? Right there. That's not supposed to look like that. Uh, this solder point basically became desoldered, all right? Uh, because again, because of 12 amps going through this pin, this is a positive pin right here. This is the central pin going here, right? This is the positive, and the negatives are right here on those sides, one and two. Those are right, but this is a positive end, this is a positive end. And because of this desoldering here, the inside of the connector basically got uh, messed up. So that's that's your problem here. All right. All right. Unfortunately for me, a power surge took out one of my monitors, so I can't really see if you can see what I'm doing here. So I will have to fix it after the after video recording. Because this is a studio, I hardly ever record videos nowadays, but when something new comes over, and there are a thousand plus videos on the channel, when something new comes over, I'm usually able to record the video. Yeah, I mean, that, that board just a huge heat sink. It's... It's not gonna come out easily. I have to put some insulation onto the onto this component right there, which is probably a light LED light. Otherwise, the whole thing just not gonna come out. Yeah. Get some insulation. All right. So I insulated everything a little bit. Now I'm just gonna add some hot air. And some soldering iron. And I should be able to drop the connector from the motherboard. Hopefully you can see it because my monitor is, is like not powering up right now. And I had some lightning storm passing through. And I usually don't shut down anything simply because to start everything up, it just takes forever. 
All right, come on. All right, we were able to take out the connector. All righty. Yeah, this board is nice and thick. Yeah, all right. So the solder, the, the factory solder didn't solder well because uh, it just, there was not enough heat on the board because of this plastic connector next to the connector. And because of that plastic connector being so close, I'm pretty sure they didn't heat up the motherboard the way it's supposed to be heated up because that plastic will just melt. All right. All righty. Let me just double check. Looks beautiful. All right. All right, so you see that plastic, the one I was talking about is right here. This is the plastic connector for the CMOS battery, and it's too close to this pad right here. So you don't, on the factory, you don't heat up this area too much because this whole plastic piece is gonna uh, fall apart. Maybe they put the connector first and then they put this in, but uh, I think the reason why, why nothing got soldered properly. Oh, wow, the board is so thick and it, Take a look at that it's it's one of the thicker boards so you do need to solder it from the top side because this is the plus connection here so you have to solder from the top but it was definitely soldered from the bottom more than it was soldered from the top and uh yeah there is really no way to solder from the top you could you could solder this from the top the surface mounted connectors but how would the machine solder this connector so yeah uh, my guess I would be able to buy a brand new boat one day uh, with this particular system because it's going to be here all the time. I, I think this is one of those systems that's, that I'm going to be seeing here all day, every day. All because the solder points are not... Let's see. That's the old... Oh, wow, they made it so fat. They, they, they made yeah the no, no, design was great i mean they made the pin fat uh, meaning they knew it's gonna conduct a lot of electricity just uh, the solder point wasn't soldered from the top because there's no way to solder this connector from the top all right so but because i have a soldering iron and unlike a machine i, I can solder it from the top i'm sure this repair gonna last much longer than than the original uh, all right, so that's a brand new connector here, right here. You can see it's brand new, all right? Just, there are some people who question my brand new. All right, let's see. Oh. 
Let me see that again. All right, so where is the old connector? Okay, so that's the old connector. All right. Let me just double check. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's the old connector. And that's a brand new connector right there. I want to make sure it has enough pressure on it so that I could solder it perfectly. I put some flux on the other side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder this guy up and putting slight pressure on top of the board and the connector so that everything would be nice and tight in there. All right. Now we're going to... Now we're going to... Other this side. All right, good job. Now we're gonna solder this end right there. Excellent. And we're gonna solder the big leg here. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so let me flip it over and solder it from the other side. Hopefully the monitor, hopefully the recording is working. I have a monitor here that's supposed to show me where this camera is at. And so I'm just guessing you can see it right now, right? All right, so here we want to put some solder. right here because that's the ground we got here well for stability purpose and for and for ground purposes this is the ground we wanna put some I just can see that far in here all right we want to solder this end here. Like that. Okay. Let me show you under the microscope how it looks like. Where is it at? Hold on. Right here. So you see how the rear pin got soldered through on the top right here. Right here. You see how smooth and nice the transition between the pin and the board this one is also nice and smooth this one is not nice and smooth but i will make it nice and smooth in a second because i need slightly different iron to get into this space right here i got like a thousand dollar iron sitting right next to me here which i'll have to use for this connection all right and the iron is nice and up and running all right so let's see let's see Right, like that. Okay, good job. Excellent. Let's see. Did it? It doesn't show me that it's it went through. It doesn't show me anything here. Let me try this side. No, the board is too thick. You see. Like, I have to keep the iron on it for a long, 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 long time, but the board is just way too thick. That, that blob, I don't, I don't like the blobs here. All right, does it make a good solid contact with the bottom or not? That's the question. All right, let's bring a different iron and see if it's... All right, so you see, even, even the 45 degree angle doesn't help much. Let me get the... Where is the okay, this? All righty.
All right, good job. So what do you think now? Do you have a solid connection? No, I, ca I can't see it, you know, it's not there. Okay. The connection is not solid at all. All right, so one thing left to do is add flux on this side, here. Add flux on the other side as well. Yeah, you see, that's, that was the original problem with the uh, board. It's uh, It just dissipates everything like a heatsink does. So, the only way to make sure that this is going to be the way it's supposed to be is to solder everything right here and keep the iron on it for quite some time, so here. I mean, the other way is to put some hot air on top of it. It just... I don't want the new connector to melt, and I don't want nearby components to melt. Alright, so that way... This... All right, so both of those are supposed to be nicely penetrated now. So okay. let's see. Let's see the other side. Mm, well, hard to say. Uh, no, here it looks good. But here... Really, 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 really hard to say. Let's try one more time with the southern iron. Ah, go figure. All right, so let's try. Let's do the hot air. The goal isn't to warm up the connector, the, the goal is to warm up the board. You know, it seems like it's... It seems like it's soldered, all right? Yeah, right there. Seems like it's okay. So, it's all good. Yeah, this one is fine as well. Okay. Let's try the other end. Right there. I mean, this this end looks okay. Oh, let's try like that. I know that's beautiful. And here it's beautiful as well. All right, amazing. Looks really, really, really good now. So hot air was the key to getting this guy soldered properly and I'm pretty sure that this laptop not gonna come here second time around because the connector is well soldered and it was the poorly solder that was the reason why it was here anyways guys I'm sure that I'm gonna have a whole bunch of those laptops uh, this Aorus with this type of connector coming in here so feel free to send it over just make a note saying that 
just make a note saying that uh, I need to order it and and pinpoint to the to this video because I got thousand plus videos. I wouldn't remember this laptop like in in an hour. So you see, better than factory solder right there. All right, let's try here. All right. Okay, some of you are gonna come and print free. Yeah, I use the uh, free Kintec wipes. The only problem is I just ran out of them. Seems like in this studio, I will have to bring it from the storage, but I'm not gonna run back and forth. Um, all right, so and now we have to air dry it. Alrighty, after the air dry, what I want to do is I want to put this guy right here. Okay. All right. Probably want to connect the top connector first. Uh, there are a bunch of sellers who sell this kind of connector, but uh, most of them are selling the incorrect connector. So this is the right connector right here, the one I installed. Okay, now let's go back. Like that. Like that. All right, good job. All right, we got uh, two two connectors right there, two screws here. All right, I wonder where are the uh, Wi-Fi cables at? Oh, right here. Okay, good. All right, so we didn't we didn't go missing connection. All right, like that. All right, that. Good job. Good job. Like that. And. Good job. All right. Excellent. All right. I'm thinking to put the. Well, uh, yeah. Let's remove the thermal paste from here. All right. So, thermal paste. You know, it seems like I have to go downstairs to get the thermal paste. Yeah. 
make sure to put uh, paste on both crystals, this and this crystal. Uh, don't just assume. What's that? Don't just assume that. Oh, it's not even supposed to be. Cover the entire crystal. Don't assume what that when you're gonna put the sink on, it's gonna cover the entire crystal. It's not gonna cover the entire crystal. So what you wanna do? And I'm just gonna remove the excess so that it's not gonna be all over the board here. Okay, good job. Excellent. All right. Like that. Like that. And, and. All right, wonderful. This connects here. That connects there. All right. Where is the number one at? Let's do one, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. Like that. Mm -mm. Let's try and guide it in. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay, good job. Here we're just gonna write it in like that. All right. Here we're going to guide it in like Excellent. Looks good to me. All right. Let's try and somebody had to and you had to write something to me. Let's see. All right, those three screws, where are they from? I wonder. This is probably this guy here. Yeah, longer screws go right here, right there, right here and right here At least, at least it's a text message, not a call, because we ask everyone on the website to to text us, not call us. All right, where is this this guy goes to? Here, someplace like that. Hope fully. 
like that. All right. So I think one of the screws is right here. All right. Another screw, small one is right here. All right. Where is the third one going to? Two, two. Probably someplace here, right there, yeah. Holding down the board so that the connector would slide in and out just fine. Here. Let's do like that. No, but seriously, is that does that go like here maybe someplace? Or it just sits here? Or it just sits on top of this guy here like that? Great design, wonderful. Wonderful, just wonderful. Let's find a... All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some tape on top right here. Okay. Oh, the connector here is missing. Something was here before, maybe, but not there anymore. Or is that for something else? Tape is pointless. I need to order some of that tape. Oh, maybe this tape right here was holding it down. Here. Like that. Good? Good. All right. So how do I connect that first? Like that. Like that. Put this guy on top like that. Connect this guy. All right. Oh. All right. So the this is the one, right? Sure. And that's the one. Okay. Okay. And now we can connect this to here. The battery is connected. So now we can slide it in and secure the bottom two screws. All right. Excellent. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Good job, except this cable, I don't see if it's fitting on top of the battery or not. That looks good to me. All right, excellent. All right, looks looks okay. All right, so here, are those pads gonna hold? No, the pads not gonna hold. Pads are useless. Okay, let's put the top cover back on. All right, everything's connected, right? Looks like everything's connected. And now the screwdriver that I was using is here someplace right there. No, that's not it. That's not it. And that's not it. Is it? No, that's not it either. 
should be someplace, but we'll find it now. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so the four long screws are right here. Everything else is not a long screw. So I'm just All right, and the good news, the Aorus 15th is all put back together. And I guess, I hope to see a lot more of you here because really nobody else is going to be fixing this kind of stuff. Anyway, so here. Right. And somebody did take a good care of it. Uh, where is the power slice? Let's plug it in. No, wrong side. Here. Nice and tight connection. And we have no light. Huh. Mm, strange. No, now we got the light. All right, so it took some time for it to get the light rolling. The white light next to the connector. Let's power it up. You see the uh, fireworks here. Beautiful. That's what you pay all the money for, for the lights to brighten up your day. Okay, have you seen the stack of NVIDIA going up like crazy? Intel didn't go up as much, but uh, NVIDIA did go up. Anything on the screen anytime soon? Let's see. Anything? Seriously? Come on, power up. Any day now, so just give it some time. We got something right there. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, leave a like if it's not too much trouble. Subscribe and you guys take care and have a good day. Thank you. All right. And right here it shows that the battery is being charged, right? If I connect it. Yeah, I think I connected it. Yeah. So right there it shows that it's charging. Let me just double check. The touchpad works. And it's looking for me right now. All right. Keyboard works. And Wi-Fi does work. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.